Welcome back. We are here with my dear friend and now yours, Wendy Darling. She may not be your friend, but she sure is going to be your godmother at some point, your fairy godmother. And we are talking about her miraculous living process. Wendy has had an amazing history and an amazing story that you can hear in another in an earlier segment on this show. And right now we're going to talk about miracles and how at some time we've all wished for a miracle. And some of us would say we've received and others would say, but how would I know? And so, Wendy, let's talk about creating our miraculous lives. Yeah, well, first of all, we all experience miracles. I mean, it's a miracle that you're in your city. Yeah, in Maryland. I'm in Florida. We're both staring at our computers <laughs> and we're having a little chit chat. And so it's there. I mean, our lungs are working, our hearts beating. There are so many miracles experiencing. We just don't necessarily either consider them miracles or we just don't pay attention. So the first thing is you just need to get really honest with what you want to be experiencing in your life. I call it magic wand time. If you could wave your magic wand, what would you really like your life to be looking like? You know, and look at all aspects. You know, in my body of work, I have 10 areas that I focus on with my clients. But let's face it, health should be at your top tier because if we're healthy, everything else can work a lot easier. If we're not healthy, it's a whole lot harder. I got a reminder. So as I mentioned, today's my birthday, but I decided to celebrate it a little bit last night. And I had ice cream, which I don't have very often. And my body is talking to me today saying, that was really special in the mouth, but the body's not real happy today. And I said, I'm so sorry, I'm drinking water. So, so really get honest with what you really want to be experiencing. Don't worry how it might happen, when it might happen. But the next step is you really need to dial up what I call your believer. Do you actually believe it's possible? I'm not asking you, do you believe it's going to happen? Do you believe you're going to know what to do or not do? No. Do you believe? And what I find when I work with clients is that there's that interference. You do not, a part of you does not believe it's possible. It could be the part of you that was very hurt as a long, young child. It could be the part of you that's been hurt as an adult. There's reasons because your mind, even your heart is trying to protect you in some way. So you do need to get to a place of it's possible. And what you can do to just start opening it up is to say, hmm, I wonder what it would be like to fill in the blank. I wonder how this could possibly happen. When you use the beginning phrase of I wonder, it just opens you up a little bit more. Or even to say, hmm. So if this might happen, what might that be like? Again, another way to just kind of open you up a little bit more, because that is really the next step is to be open. And I want to tell you a quick story that I actually experienced, and it has to do with this necklace. So there was somebody, this is when I was still living in California, somebody owed me $100. And she, was ha she happened to be having a luncheon that I was planning to go to. And one of her assistants comes up to me and gives me five raffle tickets that were worth $100. Now, I have to tell you, I had a little attitude. I was like, excuse me, are you not giving me a choice of raffle tickets, cash, whatever it might be? But I stopped myself and I said, let's just see how this might play out. And so I allowed myself to be open. So now it's time for raffles. And so 
she reads off the first raffle. It is me. And it was this necklace. I won this beautiful necklace. And I got to tell you, it's, it's a lot more expensive than $100. I'm sure it is. And it's very beautiful. Thanks. But I'm not done yet. And so then she reads the second ticket for the second item. It's another necklace. I win that. And now I'm kind of giddy. I'm like, this is fun. And so then she reads a third number. I don't even know what it is because I'm being giddy about gift number one and two. I win a third time. No way. Yep. We're not done yet. She, she brings me this ginormous gift basket. It was like a spa package. So it had a bath, a gorgeous bathrobe, slippers, a towel set, skincare products. I mean, it was phenomenal. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And now I'm looking at my friend saying, do you want me to leave? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was a little self-conscious, but there's one more piece. Somebody that I kind of knew came up to me and said, you know, that necklace that you want, not that's the second one. Would you be willing to sell it to me? I really, really wanted that. And I looked at her and I said, for how much? She said, $100. Wow. So this necklace and what I'm trying to convey is how magical life can be when we stayed, stay open. If I would have continued with that attitude, I'm pretty sure none of this would have happened. And it's been such a gift because I've told the story quite a few times since then. So staying open is important. And I also have to say, whatever it is, be willing to take a step. It doesn't have to be a bungee jump, but a step. So if you want to release weight, is it drinking a little more water? Is it eating maybe a, a few more veggies? You know, if it's your business, is it reaching out to somebody and saying, I could really use your help? If it's love, you know, I, I know love will happen. So I'm starting to read books, just barely starting about relationships. I'm good at attracting, <laughs> I want to make sure I'm a little more prepared. <laughs> and, and, and I do know that God's sending me this beautiful man probably sometime in the next few to several months. I don't know. Well, that'll be our next segment. Absolutely. So, so, so taking and stay open and take a step. Yeah. The step is the important piece. And sometimes the step Lauren is also to just go within and be quiet. The step might be, is there something within you that's raising its hand and saying, I need to be noticed. I need to be healed. I need some love. So it really just depends. So yeah, those are some of the things. And as a reminder, if your viewers are at all curious, it's so much easier using the miraculous living method. And I'm giving that away as my birthday gift. All you have to do is to go to wendydarling.com forward slash jumpstart. And it will all be perfect. And I will actually be going there as soon as we finish here. <laughs> because I so appreciate what you've accomplished. I've watched you come through it. I know that it's been a process for you. But I am a very, very sincere believer that the people who have lived it are the best teachers for all of us. So thank you for sharing with us. Thank you for your generous birthday gift. Happy, happy birthday to you, my friend. And I will look forward to seeing how this all evolves for all of us. And thank you for joining with us today on Good Day. Really appreciate you.